Today, we're going to expose House freshman Democrat Maxwell Frost of Florida's ignorant arguments against border security and a shocking display of political theater where he outed himself as just another black race hustler in the party. This guy pulled a stunt that the fake news media is reporting as if he was making a salient point when it was nothing more than race baiting nonsense stirred up by his own ignorance of the meaning of the Statue of Liberty. Stick around to find out what I'm talking about. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with another dose of truth. In today's video, we're taking on the lunacy of the radical left, specifically freshman Congressman Maxwell Frost. This race hustler used his time to slam the Secure the Border Act in the most absurd way possible. With a picture of Lady Liberty behind him, he claimed this legislation removes the very fabric of America. Furthermore, he accused Republicans of peddling hate for wanting to enforce immigration laws. He called them bigots and liars. I've got news for Mr. Frost. Stopping illegal immigration is not peddling hate. It's supporting the rule of law, plain and simple. And with the crisis at our border right now, the top people in this country who are being harmed by Joe Biden's illegal migrants are black people and people of color. So here he is in all his hate-filled glory. Give this a listen. To my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, let's be honest with immigrants who deserve better than what you're offering them. Don't welcome immigrants if you plan to reject them. If He's conflating illegal immigrants with immigrants. This is what these dopey Democrat morons do all the time. If you keep pushing your bigoted H.R. 2 bill. He just called them bigots. Then also pass this bill. I've taken the liberty of drafting it for you. It removes the Statue of Liberty, our largest symbol that tells people to come here. This is who you are. That's not what the Statue of Liberty tells you. Removing the fabric of America. So I want to know which Republican who supports and voted for H.R. 2 will introduce this bill. Frost based his low IQ arguments on the poem that is engraved on the base of the Statue of Liberty. The poem is called The New Colossus, and it was written by Emma Lazarus. The part that nitwits like Maxwell Frost used to argue that the Statue of Liberty is an American symbol that the United States is calling out to every uneducated pauper in the world who the American taxpayers will forever owe a living goes like this. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. The poem doesn't state America will accept any wretched refuse who breaks our laws. It represents the beacon of liberty that our superior founding principles provide. Don't expect race hustlers to grasp this nuance. The problem with Frost's arguments about Lady Liberty is like the other left-wing brain-dead morons who use this poem to trash America for not allowing the dregs of the world to get a permanent paycheck from the U.S. taxpayers is that they always leave out the beginning of it. Lazarus wrote, Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, she cries with silent lips. Now, when you add this to the mix, what Lazarus is saying to other countries is that the people in your country cannot become whatever they want to become. They cannot be the best that they could be because your country does not allow them to be as free. And that it is because your country is not at the level of exceptionalism that the United States is. Emma Lazarus was telling the world that the very same people in those countries who could never be the best they could be would be able to do so in America. The point the poem was making is that the United States is the greatest country in the world because of our founding principles, which are superior to those of the ancient lands that live under the historical storied pomp or the high flown glory and splendor of the ancient worlds, if you will. All Frost had to do was pay attention in school and he would have understood that. But it appears that Maxwell Frost is a race hustler, and we can expect him to inject race into everything from now on. The left has always conflated illegal and legal immigration. They act like requiring adherence to our system is draconian. 
In reality, open borders lead to chaos. Just look at the disaster unfolding on our southern border right now. Those are people of color who are living in that humanitarian crisis. I'd love to hear Frost explain how ignoring immigration laws matches Lady Liberty's message. He knows that his party is doing this for the votes, for congressional representation, and for electors. And yet, he twists it into a racism thing because he's not bright enough to make a better argument. You can't selectively interpret poems to justify lawlessness. This freshman congressman owes Americans an apology for his disgraceful lies. All right, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Every day I'm looking for a way to return to the town when everything was easy to learn. Don't know when it started to get.